let us see the derivation for zero order fold. What is the input to the zero order fold? The input to the zero order hold is K naught, K1, K2, K3, etc. So the output is, uh, it will be like this. This is uh, y of n t, y of t. This is uh, x star of t, sample data. So what is the expression for this? x star of t equal to, this is pulses, periodic pulses. The sampling period is t. Therefore, this can be written as K naught K naught del of T plus K one del of T minus T plus K two del of T minus two T plus etc. The output here is, uh, this can be seen as this part, up to this part can be seen as a magnitude of K naught step function minus, minus a same step function, but negative value minus K naught, but a delay by a sampling period. So this part can be written as y of t equal to the first part can be written as k naught u of t minus u of t minus t plus this part second part can be written as k1 u of t minus tau minus u of t minus 2t because the second part can be drawn like this, a delayed function whose magnitude is k1 minus another delayed, two sampling period delayed function whose magnitude is minus k1. If you add these two together, or if you add these two, or you can subtract a positive value. So if you add these two, what you will get is u of t my k1 u of t minus tau minus u of t minus 2t. Plus k2 u of t minus 2t minus u of t minus 3t plus etc. What is uh, x star of s? x star of s or let us write in summation form, x star of t equal to sum of n equal to 0 to infinity k n del of t minus n t. So if you take Laplace and sum of this input, what you will get is x star of s equal to sigma n equal to 0 to infinity k n. This is a delayed function. That's why e power minus n t s. That's all. Or we can write this uh, summation function y of t equal to let us write here y of t equal to sigma n equal to 0 to infinity k n u of T minus n t minus u of t minus n plus one t. If you take Laplace transform of this uh, 
right hand side what you will get is y of s equal to sigma n equal to 0 to infinity k n this is what 1 by s but delayed function e power minus n t s divided by s if you take a laplace transform for this it is n plus 1 e power minus n plus 1 t s upon s. So, this can be simplified as y of s equal to sigma n equal to 0 to infinity k n, you can take e power minus n t s out, outside, e power minus n t s. This is 1 by s, s is common. So, 1 minus here n plus 1 t s n times you take an out that's why e power minus t s therefore therefore y of s upon x of s equal to this is common in both y of s and x of s this term is common getting cancelled that's why y of s upon x of s equal to 1 minus e power minus t s upon s. This is zero order hold. That's why while finding pulse transfer function, while finding pulse transfer function, what is pulse transfer function? h of g s, h g p of s, h g p of s is pulse transfer function, h g p of z is pulse transfer function. So, this h is this y of s by x star of s, 1 minus e power t s divided by s. That's why we are multiplying the transfer function, 1 minus e power minus t s upon s. Therefore, the transfer function of zero order hold equal to 1 minus e power minus t s upon s. Suppose you want to find the pulse transfer function, g of s is given 1 by k upon tau s plus 1 is given. In the examination, they may ask you to find the pulse transfer function of this g of s. Find the pulse transfer function of g of s. If they ask you to find h g of s, that is equal to 1 minus e power minus t s upon s multiplied by k upon tau s plus 1. Multiply, then you find the z transform that is called pulse transfer function. Pulse transfer function. You know how to find this. Already we used this uh, in uh, uh, finding the Kalman's controller, um, deadbeat controller, as well as uh, uh, Darlin's controller. For that we already used, but uh, the name for this is uh, uh, pulse transfer function. It's a transform of H G of S. In the examination, they will give only G of S, but you have to multiply yourself by h, then you have to find the transfer function that is called pulse transfer function. 